In today's video, I will be talking about why Type Soul doesn't make any sense. Every time I make a video like this, there's a bunch of brain damaged idiots in my comments saying I'm dumb or that I'm nitpicking. That's kind of the point. It's for comedy. Anyway, just know it's satire. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe, since only about 20% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. Now, let's get into it. First of all, partial res. A resurrection, which I'll be saying because I'm not going through the extra effort to say resurrectione, is your mode as an Arankar. Partial res is the Shikai equivalent for Arankars in terms of skills, but partial res isn't a thing in Bleach. The moves that the Arankars use isn't a partial res, they're just moves that they use in the anime. They pretty much just fight against the Soul Reaper's Bankais with the equivalent of Shikai for them. And then Ult Kiora and all of them would get the same power that a Soul Reaper gets in their Bankai in Segunda. Which is why Bankai usually beats a Resurrection, because that's just Shikai to a Arankar, but Segunda usually beats literally everything else. And also, every time I bring this up, people like to say that the other Arankars can't use Segunda, but realistically, there's no reason for why Ulkiro would be the only one capable of doing it. He's just the only one who knows how to do it. But a lot of people just assume the rest of them are incapable of doing it, which doesn't make sense. Stupid logic. I hate when people bring that up. Next up, every single Bleach game seems to get this wrong. Paroxide did it wrong, this game did it wrong, and every other Bleach game on Roblox with clans does this wrong. Mostly because like a third of the Roblox Bleach game devs don't actually watch the show. Regardless, spoiler alert, so skip to the timestamp on screen if you're not up to the Thousand Year Blood War yet. Why the FUCK is Kurosaki a Soul Reaper Shinigami clan? In Bleach, the anime and manga, Kurosaki is the name passed down from Ichigo's mother, who was a Quincy. Peroxide fixed this after I made a video calling them out, and they made it obtainable for both Soul Reaper and Quincy. But Type Soul still only has Kurosaki as a Shinigami Soul Reaper clan name, which doesn't make sense, and I HATE IT! Anyway, spoiler over. Also, can we talk about how god-awful the item and inventory system in this game is? Having the press N, go to my inventory, switch out one of my moves, use Garganta, Press N again, go back into my inventory, switch out Garganta again for my phantom trick. Just to keep my inventory in shape is so annoying. Let us use the built-in Roblox backpack for moves and items. And I don't want to have to do that every time someone asks me for a portal. I literally just started lying, saying I'm in combat, and then I run away from them so that way they can't get the portal and ask me again. And the items themselves are so terribly designed. The soul ticket, the item that just completely wipes your build, your res, everything. No confirmation menu, so if you accidentally pull it out as like a joke or something, Something and then click by accident, you're done. And the hollow essence is an, is an amazing example of why the items in this game are so garbage. You pull out an item, M1 rerolls your res, while M2 rerolls the moves for your current res. Why is it like this? Who thought making M2, which is the button that moves your camera, would be a good idea? So many people are going to accidentally use the wrong thing by subconsciously moving their cameras, which, you know, could be prevented if you just made it so clicking it brings up a UI that asks if you want to re-roll your res or re-roll your partial res moves, and then you click which one you do, because then you can't accidentally do the wrong thing. And you want to know what else makes sense? How come I can't get into a ranked game? At least half the times I try and queue into a ranked 1v1, the loading fails. I sit in the loading screen for about 20 seconds, and then the message changes and I can't load it, and I have to leave and load back into Type Soul. I really hate that, because how have you guys been working on your ranked system for the entire time you've been working on revamping this game in like the 7 or 8 months it's been dead, and your ranked system still doesn't even work properly? And I'd just like to mention, if you block people to avoid getting put in ranked lobbies with them, you're a pussy. Along with that, why does Miracle Shrift blind me? That shouldn't exist. And also, why do I not melt Quincy's as an Arankar? They're supposed to be weak to hollows in Arankars, but I keep losing to them in ranked. I would also like to say real quick, all the footage being used in this video is mine because I actually like playing Type Soul. And if I am bad or I am dying or I am losing or I'm getting pieced up in any of the clips, first of all, it's probably against a Quincy. Second of all, I am washed, okay? You guys are gonna have to give me some time to get used to playing this game again, because I am washed. I used to be good, I will be good again soon, but my entire kit has been nerfed like 12 times, because I use Speed, Hakuda, and Stark, which have all been nerfed into the ground, but I'm also washed, so just wait, once my stuff gets buffed, and once I am good at the game again, all the clips will be better. And also doing an RNG based maze for full res isn't fun and shouldn't exist. Also, why does the mode called Resurrection or Resurrectione not heal you? It is called a Resurrection. 
but I can't use it when knocked or heal at all with it. And also the devs are just kind of releasing unfinished resurrections, which they've been doing for a while. Like either the kit is bad or the res itself is just garbage. I'm talking about shark. Also, why do the Shinigami need to do division duties to rank up? Rukia didn't do her duties to get stronger and neither did anyone else. The only thing I can think of is that the ranking systems in the Soul Society are corporate frauds made to get you to do free labor, kind of like the actual military in real life. And why does Jadambo need to be a raid boss? They could have made him way weaker. He's taking multiple elite grades to kill, but he's like bottom of the barrel in Bleach compared to every character who has an actual name. If a character has a name, they're stronger than Jadambo. And why does Bankai get achieved through raids? You're for real telling me our spirit sees us massacring people and goes, oh yeah, this guy who's just like murdering people for no reason, going from city to city, just killing as many people as he can find. Yeah, he's he's worthy of insane amounts of power that will allow him to, you know, destroy the earth. And how are the devs going to explain how you can randomly find the Hogyoku fragments and also anyone can acquire and use them perfectly? Aizen had trouble with it, but we can just use them flawlessly. And why do we find them in tents when they're supposed to be nearly indestructible. You're telling me the Hogyoku are getting destroyed that easily nowadays? It's crazy why they're getting like this. Like, how, how are they getting destroyed so easily? It doesn't make sense. And speaking of the devs, in the end of the day, we truly are side characters for the devs who basically made this game to feed their roleplay fantasies where they can finally be you watch from Bleach. Like, can we be real for a second? Like, a lot of people complain about the titles and, and the, the overpowered title buffs and then all the gatekeeping and all the specs that don't get released to everyone. But you gotta remember, this game was made for a bunch of 20 to 30 year old men to roleplay an anime that came out in the early to mid 2000s. These guys are having a midlife crisis, so they made Type Soul, so that way they could finally experience what it's like to be Ichigo Kurosaki. That's why this game was created. In the manga, we are told Let's Still was a downgraded version of the Volstandi, which I'm not going to go through the effort of saying it. I know it's something like Volstandich or something like that, but I'm not going to be doing all that. You're so extra. Anyway, the technique was thrown away and made into the Volstandig, which was significantly better. So why is your character capable of using both when Let's Still is literally an obsolete version and a downgrade of the Volstandig? But then the Volstanding, as some people like to call it, are just better. So like, why would we ever use the Let's Still? It doesn't make sense. And speaking of Let's Still, why do both the other races that aren't a Roncar have their own mini modes? Like, they get the Let's Still, and then the Soul Reapers get their hollow forms with their wizard stuff. But then as an Arankar, you just kind of get Rez and Segunda. It doesn't make much sense. And why can't I level all of Katakura Town with a Grand Ray Sero? Realistically, I should be able to. I know it's an unrealistic ask, but it would be funny. Now, I kind of just want to talk more about how the devs kind of just use this to fulfill their roleplay fantasies. Because, like, actually think about it. These guys are gatekeeping every spec in the game, and it's not even close. There's so many specs they get gatekept so hard. And I remember people would get super mad because a new spec was unveiled because someone used it against a random player and like wiped him or something. And then people were mad because it was like, oh, so they're still gatekeeping even though the game is dying because this was when the game was getting no updates. And I just think it's so crazy. These guys are so like afraid of losing their personal little role play power that they they gatekeep things and then they make themselves ridiculously overpowered and they give themselves stuff that nobody will ever have ever just because they they want to be all powerful like you're you're really role playing as your watch and you're making yourself as powerful as your watch in a roblox game like let that sink in for the devs watching i'm not judging you yes i am but I don't hate you, because I completely understand, because if I had a game, I would give myself overpowered specs too. But bro, why are the people with titles that aren't moderators, and even some of the moderators, are they're such losers. Why They're, they're just giving titles to anyone, honestly. Because a lot of these people are the most brain-dead losers. Like, they'll kill you and they'll say, sit, mutt. Like, bro, it's a Roblox game. You've been playing this for six hours today. I'm gonna have to ask you to go offline for a bit. Maybe go outside, talk to some people, real people. And I, I dare you to say sit mud. I hope your your jaw gets broken. Yes, I'm mad because someone said that after 3v1ing me. And I was about to beat him. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and join my Discord if you want to, uh, to suggest videos and suggestions for videos like this. And check me out on Twitch where I stream a lot sometimes. I'll be streaming this Saturday and probably Friday too. Anyway, I love you all. Have a great day and goodbye.
Easy. Holiday man two one three. Fuck out of my. Oh, bow tie. Quincy hooded. I got the Quincy puffer jacket. 